session I'm going to show you about trying to improve your neural tension in your lower limbs. And what I mean by that is when people have got a certain back posture, maybe weak abdominals, tight lower back, or they've had an old disc problem before, or an old back problem before, sometimes they lose a little bit of flexion, which means going forward in the lumbar spine. And not all of it is in the lower back. They actually get a lot of tightness down to the legs. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, yeah, that's my hammies. I can feel in my hammies, or I feel it in my calves. And you probably, you know, you might be one of these people that, when you bend forward, you feel like, oh, my calves are too tight, or my hamstrings are too tight. And most of the time, it's actually your neural tension up through the back of your legs and into your lower back, and into your spinal cord. And it can develop over time. Now, if you've been, a, say, a young kid, and you've grown very fast through school, it might have started then, and it's carried on for the rest of your life, or it's happened after a certain injury, or a certain amount of time being in, in a not so great posture. So, what the feeling is, when you bend forward, when you roll forward like this, you get to the point where you just feel like you can't go any further. And the feeling is, it's sort of like a, a tightness through here that goes through the back of the knees and almost up through the hemis. And it's not really a muscular tightness feeling, it's a bit more of a pain than that. It's what we call a neural pain. And that's where your sciatic nerve system is getting stretched and that hurts a little bit. So sciatic nerve coming down through here, and the tibial nerve and femoral branches through, uh, perineal branches through the leg as well. And so what we're gonna try and do, we can't stretch the nerve, we're gonna try and mobilize it to improve how well it moves, release the muscles that guard it, and see if we can get the flexion movement a bit better. Because if you've got the flexion movement a bit better, you're gonna squat better, you're gonna deadlift better, you're going to move better, it's not going to be so tight, you're going to get less problems, less pain, less injuries down the track. Okay, so first one I want you to work on is single leg. Now, this is advanced sciatic nerve or lower limb mobilization. So, this is the point where people haven't got back pain, they haven't got you know shooting sciatic, it's not for those people, it's just for the people who've got a lot of tension and they can afford to do a bit of stretching. So, the first one again is a band like this, wrap it around. And you're going to put it into one leg on the toe like that. Okay, so one leg like that. Now, for this, the purpose of this is we're going, we can use one leg, we're going across. So what I like to people to do is, you know, when you're, we just go back a step, when you're doing side of nerve fossil, you're just doing one leg like this, okay? So I'm advancing that up. I'm going to go into rotation over here. So I'm going to open up through this part here. So I'm getting a bit of opening through the lumbar spine, a bit of stress through here, and then I've got some play here. Now there's two things I can, work, I can work on. I can work on my knee extension, which will mobilize the neural tissue through the back of the knee. So there's the junction point there, so I can work on that. And that's where I go straight my knee until I feel a little bit of that pain tightness, and then back off. So remember, I can't hold it there straight because that's just I can't stretch the nerve I can only mobilize it so if I go on and then off okay so I'm keeping my foot in dorsiflexion I'm not changing my foot I'm only pivoting at the knee so this, that's my junction my pivoting point so I'm mobilizing the tissues mostly through the back of the knee and the hamstring okay so I can do 10 of those and then I might do 10 the other side when I come back the second set We'll be pivoting at the ankle, so I'm moving more of the tissue down, uh, down through the calf. So at this point here, I'm still through here, I've got the tension here, and from there, I'm going and pointing my toes. So that's the tension off, and then I'll let the tension come on. So I've got a straight knee, there's the tension off, so I don't feel it through the back of my knee, my calf, when I bring it on, then I feel it through the calf there, and then I push and take it off. Now that is not calf tightness I'm feeling, okay? As in it's not the tightness of the muscle, it's the neural tissue through the muscle that I'm feeling, okay? So when I do that movement, I don't want to sit there and go, oh yeah, I'm stretching it. I don't do that. I want to be actually taking it out of pain, now tightness, and then letting it come on, and then letting it come off, okay? Letting it come on. Now that's too much. You can sit there with a bit of knee flexion and do it that way, 
It's a little bit harder to hold that knee flexion. It's a little easier just to keep it straight. But that's one way of doing it through there. Okay? So that's your single leg work. Once you've loosened that up, and obviously both sides, you'll probably find if you've done, say, three sets of 10 or 20 of those per set, you'll probably find that this movement is a bit further. Okay, you haven't released your back, you've just loosened up the neural or muscular tissue, tissue through the legs. Okay, and you'll find you're being forward a bit, you feel a bit looser, feels a bit better. 